Hello, this is Chris the Game Dev, and today I want to talk about something that's very important to me, and that is making games. A few years ago, I decided to leave the industry I was in to start making games full time. I released the Indigo Parallel in November of 2022, and since then I've been updating it regularly, but then I decided it was time to make a new game. This game is called Absolute Insanity, and it's coming out very soon, November 5th to be exact. Making games is a big deal for me because now it's my full-time job, it's my passion, it's my main source of income, and it's just something that I think in the long term will be my ultimate legacy, I guess, because making games has been what I've generally been known for. I'm also known for working on a TV show called The Expanse, except for I was an employee in that context and I didn't, um, it wasn't my IP or my creative endeavor. I was just working for someone else's vision, I guess you can say. But when I make games, it is my creative vision. And it's because I'm a solo dev, I have pure creative control. But I really do think that this is going to be uh, what I'll leave uh, behind is basically like the gallery of games that I will hopefully have in the length of my career. This game, Absolute Insanity, is a little bit different than the Indigo Parallel. It's definitely weird, but it's full of action and it has the feeling of a roguelike. When you beat a level, there's uh, unlocks you can get. Um, you don't have a health bar or anything. You, it's one hit, you're done, but it's pretty forgiving. You just have to repeat the level. You don't start from the beginning. And the levels are also procedurally generated. And this leads to a lot of interesting um, and dynamic gameplay experiences that I'm very excited for the world to try out. This is also the first game I've made with different game modes. You have the main story mode and then you have arena mode where you can tailor your gaming experience by selecting the spawn, selecting the enemies, uh, selecting the level and you get to customize certain interesting parameters such as the explosive jump amount and I think this leads to a lot of interesting gaming experiences that you don't necessarily get in the story mode. So I'm really excited for this to be in the game as well. The Indigo Parallel, although it wasn't my first game I've ever made, it was the first game I've made for a market and for commercial release. And I took all the stuff that I learned from the Indigo Parallel and put it into my new game and I really do think Absolute Insanity is more of a polished game. It has localization, optimization settings, key rebinding, and you can turn off and on post-processing and just so much more. And I think overall, just the game feels like more of a polished game, like a higher end, you know, indie developer title is the way that I'm sort of describing it because the Indigo Parallel is again i was like a newbie when i made the indigo parallel and now i feel like at this moment i'm so much more of an experienced developer that my future games moving forward will always have a standard of quality that will constantly hopefully be getting better and that's what i'm always striving for is uh, to make the games as best as i can make them so yeah the game's coming out soon november 5th i'm staring down at that date it's coming ever so close and i hope you guys will try absolute insanity of poured a lot of work into it and i really do think it's going to be a fun and interesting and different game and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.